Alright, that was a good one. Today we are playing Gothic 2 Gold. This is one of my favorite games in the world. Uh, probably the game I spend more hours in than any other. On Steam alone, I think I've spent almost 200 hours. So yeah. As my first Let's Play, I thought we'd go with something familiar as opposed to something new, so obviously this won't be a blind run. I'll try to make a commentary at the same time, but I'm not very familiar with this. I've never done a Let's Play before, as I said. So let's give it a try. I'm not going to speak during cutscenes or anything like that. Or not much, at least. So here we go. New game. <laughs> and I have allergies, so please ignore the sniffles. A single prisoner altered the fate of hundreds, but he paid a high price for it. defeated the sleeper, destroyed the barrier. But while all the other prisoners escaped, he remained behind in the rubble. It was I who dispatched him against the sleeper. Now it is I who brings him back from there. He is weak and has forgotten much. But he is alive. There you are again. I never thought the two of us would meet again. I feel like I spent three weeks lying under a load of rocks. Well, so you did. Only the magic within your armor kept you alive. I had feared I might not be able to rescue you from the debris of the temple, but enough of that. You're here now. There's a new threat that we have to deal with. After the fall of the barrier and the banishment of the sleeper, Belyar's wrath has grown even greater. A mighty artifact, so it is written in the old scriptures, will be brought back to this world when the God of Darkness sends his henchmen out to search. This search has long since begun. Belyar's henchmen are desecrating the oldest shrines of the gods. The guardians of these holy places have awakened, and their wrath makes the earth tremble. Every powerful magician on this island could sense this wrath. And some of them have certainly begun to face the threat. must become their ally. That's the only way to stop Belyar. At least we have enough time now. I did it. The sleeper... ...has been banned. You vanquished him so much is true. But it's not within our power to stop the war that ensues now. 
With his final furious scream, the sleeper has set into movement the armies of darkness. It was an order to all evil creatures, a word of power that they were all bound to obey. His last order was, come, and they came, all of them, even the dragons. Dragons? They are creatures of an ancient power. I can sense their presence, even here. And they have gathered an entire army of lowly servant creatures around them. Where's this army now? The army is camped not far from here, in the Valley of Mines near Corinus, and they're getting ready to attack. We do not have much time left. Well, then let's hurry to get out of here. If we flee now, then it's only to face the dragons later. With the help of the soldiers and the magicians who live around here, we can stop them before their army is completely formed. We're not going to get a better chance. What can we do? This time we cannot handle it by ourselves. Only the power of Innos will help us against these dragons. A group of paladins is stationed in the city of Corinus, not far from here. They possess a powerful artifact which could help us to defeat the dragons. They call it the Eye of Innos. You need to get hold of this artifact. Tell the paladins about the threat. You must convince their leader to support us. And once you have talked to him, you need to find the artifact of Belyar. It is the counterpiece to the Eye of Enos. It must not fall into the hands of evil. What exactly is the Eye of Enos? It's an amulet. Legend has it that Enos himself was poured part of his power into this amulet. It will restore some of your lost strength and help us defeat the dragons. It also has some other hidden powers. I shall tell you more about that once the amulet is yours. Why would the paladins give me the Eye of Innos? Because you are the one who is destined to wear it. How can you claim to know that? There are a number of reasons. The most important being, you have defeated the sleeper. If you weren't a favorite of the gods, you'd be dead by now. Let's assume you're right and I'm destined to bear the Eye of Innos. How would the paladins know that's true? The Eye itself chooses the one who may wear it. Once you get hold of it and put it on, the paladins cannot doubt your words any longer. How can I get to the city? Just follow the path from here through the mountains. The city is large, but... No, skip this, not important. I'll be on my way as fast as I can. Good. And one more thing. Don't tell anyone that you've talked to me. Above all, don't tell any magician. Since I have gone into exile, the circle of fire has taken me for dead, and that's a good thing. Let's go. So as you can see, Gothic did dragons before they were cool. I'm gonna cut it off here because I don't know how long the videos I can upload.